Welcome back to our channel. In today's Excel tutorial, we are going to learn the most powerful and widely used formula in Excel that is VLOOKUP. Understanding this formula will take your Excel skills to the next level. I am going to teach you VLOOKUP using very easy method. So don't go away and stick to the video till end. So let's get started our journey to understand how to use VLOOKUP in Excel. To begin, let's take a look at the syntax of the VLOOKUP formula. It stands for vertical lookup and its purpose is to find a specific value in a table and returns information from a different column in the same row. As you can see the formula consists of four main parts lookup value, table array, column index number and the range lookup. Now let's break down each of these components. The first component is the lookup value. This is the value you want to search for within the table. It can be a cell reference or a specific value. So we have the table array. This is the range of cells that contain the data you want to search in. It's essential to include all the columns that you need for the lookup purpose. Moving to the column index number. This represents the column number from which you want to retrieve data once the lookup value is found. It's important to count the columns from the leftmost column in your table. Finally, we have the range lookup, which is an optional argument. It determines whether you want the exact match or an approximate match. If you enter false or zero, it will give you an exact match. Now that we understand the different components, let's put them together and apply the VLOOKUP formula in practical example. In this example, we have the results of the biochemistry of different students and the students are arranged with serial number from 1 to 13 and their name, their registration number, their midterm marks, end term marks, practical marks and then the total marks. And for lookup, we want the serial number, name and the total marks of the student. First of all, if we want to find out the marks from the column number 6, serial number 6. So how we will apply this formula? We will write the equal sign and then we look up bracket start and then we will write this column number 6 that is in I6 cell. So v is equal V lookup bracket start I6 then comma and then the table from which we want to search in this is the total values in all the tables followed by the F4 then comma and then we have to mention the column index number so column index number is actually the column from which we want to find so we want to find the name and name is present in the second column first column is serial number and the second column is name so two we write two over here and then comma and then the values for the true or false for true we have to write one and for false we have to write zero so we will write zero over here and then the bracket is closed and you just simply have to press enter to get your results and you can see that in six number the student name is isha fatma so here is isha fatima similarly if we also want to find out the total marks of that student starting with equal sign we look up bracket start the serial number that is six comma that is actually i6 comma the table from which we want to search in then we have to press f4 comma then column index number and this time the column index number is the total mark so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 seventh column so we we'll write 7 then comma and then the false code that is 0 and bracket is closed to just press enter and get your results so sixth number student is isha fatma and her total marks are 40 so now if i change the serial number to 2 then and then press enter i will find the results for the second student that is the ashan ashraf so the marks of the ashan ashraf are 43 so you just simply have to change these numbers press enter and get the results of the different students now that you have seen how to use vlook 
Keep in mind that this formula can be extremely powerful in various scenarios such as analyzing large data sets, merging data from multiple tables or even creating dynamic reports. That's it for today's video on how to use VLOOKUP formula in Excel. I hope you found this tutorial helpful it enhances your Excel skills. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Till next time, happy Excel.